Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm Kevin Zhang, the 2022 conference chair at ICCC. It's my great pleasure to stand here in Taiwan to welcome you all from the globe to the 2022 International Solid State Circuit Conference. Also, I had hoped to greet you in the beautiful San Francisco this year, held the very recent and unfortunate surge of Omicron variants of COVID-19. However, I'm fully confident that we shall overcome the pandemic and be able to meet in person in the near future. Here, let me take the opportunity to congratulate all the authors and the speakers as you have delivered a set of exciting and inspiring paper and the presentation in the face of this great challenge over the last two years. It's your hard work and the contribution that have made our conference so special, serving as the flagship event in the Solid State Circuit Society. I hope that you all will take a moment to celebrate your technical and professional accomplishment and the breakthrough. I also would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the entire ICCC organizing committee. With the recent turn of event, we had to make a very late change from hybrid to full virtual format. Our team responded quickly and made all the necessary changes in such a short period of time. Big kudos to our entire organizing committee for their tremendous dedication and professionalism throughout the conference preparation. Our conference has evolved so much throughout its 68-year history, from the humble beginning as a small gathering at a university campus to today's 3,000-plus attendee from the globe. We continue to add a new program and enrich the conference experience. Last year, we designed and delivered our very first ever virtual conference with high quality and flexibility, along with some very innovative online programs such as online social events. This year, in conjunction with the Solid State Circuit Society, we added a new educational program called Circuit Insight, which provides excellent introduction to our students and help them to appreciate the arts and the beauty of circuits. This lecture are given by an all-star cast, including some of the pioneers in solid-state circuit. To make it even better, it's free for all students. Hopefully, we can attract new members and further grow our circuit community. Here is a brief summary on our last virtual conference attendance. Despite of a whole new virtual format, we maintain our attendance at about 3,000 level. ICCC remains true to its nature of being international. With the virtual format, we have experienced nearly 700,000 page view across our entire online program. Thank you for the great participation and the support. In addition to the technical presentation, an important benefit to attend ICCC is to have networking and a personal interaction with your colleague. Here, I also like to draw your attention to a couple of special events we have put together for you. We have the popular mentor session, Open to All Now, where you can get career advice from leading experts. This year, Women in Circuits will focus on next generation circuit designer with two featured speakers, Megan Smith, the former CTO of USA, and the Dean and the Professor Sujay King Liu of UC Berkeley. At Student Research Preview, we will have an inspiring lecture by Professor Kofi Makiwa of Delft. On the publication front, one of the key benefits of a virtual ICCC, all conference material this year will be downloadable online from MirrorSmart. The material will be available till the end of March. Also here, a friendly reminder, please use the link for each paper to provide your feedback as an important part of the best paper selection process. Now, let's turn to the plenary session. At ICCC Plenary, we always strive to provide you a broad, forward-looking vision on the frontier in our fields. This year, I'm really pleased to have four distinguished speakers and industry leaders to share their view on the future. 
The broad topic range from the future of overall design ecosystem to intelligent sensing in the automation age, from distributed and connected mobile computing to the future of high-performance semiconductor and design, should be a very excellent forward-looking event. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Edith Benet, who chairs the International Technical Program Committee at the ICCC. Edith has brought a truly outstanding leadership to ICCC during a very difficult time when we face so many new challenges throughout the pandemic era. Her tireless dedication and the leadership have truly enabled us in delivering the outstanding technical program. Edith currently is a research director at Meta. She has been very active in contributing to many technical and professional activities throughout Solid State Circuit Society. Now let's welcome Edith. Welcome everyone to ISC 2022. Um, the theme for the year is uh, Intelligent Silicon for a Sustainable World. My name is Edith Benier. I'm the Technical Program Chair of ISC 2022 uh, in the virtual format for the second year. Let's have a look at the papers uh, submitted and accepted. Uh, we received for review 651 submissions, which is a very high number compared to previous years. Um, so thanks a lot for everyone who submitted uh, papers. We received a lot of very high quality papers, so we really want to thank everyone here. Um, we accepted 208 excellent contributions that you're going to see uh, this week in the different sessions. Uh, let's look at the acceptance rates, 32% quite in line with uh, the, the previous years. Uh, in terms of breakdown, we have 38% of papers coming from America, 48% coming from Forest, and 14% coming from Europe. Uh, related to industry academia, 32% from industry, 56% from academia, and then joint papers between uh, industry and academia. Um, so let's have a look at the program itself. Uh, we have obviously all the regular papers and all the regular sessions that we have accepted this year. Uh, 200 regular papers in there, plus eight um, specific invited papers highlighting some uh, new industry contributions, and I'm going to talk about it in the next slide. Uh, in terms of different events, we have some educational events with tutorials and short course and uh, some exploration events with uh, forums that you're going to see over the week. Uh, and then very specific events. They're going to be uh, mostly panels and discussion with leaders in the domain. And we have six uh, very interesting uh, special events this week. Um, please attend. Uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting discussions in there. Uh, we are very lucky to have four outstanding plenary speakers this year. We have split that into two sessions, so one today on Monday and the second one on Tuesday, with a total of four plenary speakers. Um, just a, a quick highlight on the uh, what we call the highlighted chip releases sessions. So we have eight, eight uh, invited papers from industry uh, into two sessions, so session 21 and session 26, and please uh, note the live Q&A there. Uh, that's going to be the opening of the conference on Wednesday. Uh, all those papers are showcasing the latest advancement in machine learning, processor systems, and quantum computing. Uh, one of the sessions, session 21, is going to be um, focused on digital and machine learning. So four papers there. Please attend the session on Wednesday at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. The second session is about systems and quantum computing. Again, here uh, we have four outstanding papers. Uh, the Q&A is going to happen just after the previous industry session at 7.45 uh, for uh, a panel uh, of discussion between uh, the, the authors of those papers. Of course, the program uh, could not be there without the help of all those people in that slide. Uh, it's an overview of uh, all the uh, subcom chairs, regional chairs, um, all the educational chairs and the industry session chairs. 
Um, my co-chair for this conference is Piet Van Back, and I really want to thank him for uh, all the hard work uh, he's done to uh, put this program together uh, with me and the committee this year. Um, it's interesting to see that we have 12 uh, subcommittee chairs. I would also like to thank them for putting together uh, all the regular sessions that you're going to see uh, during the week. The uh, entire committee is uh, not only the technical program committee, but we have a lot of people helping in the background that I wanted to list here. Um, all the firm committees, short course, demonstration, um, industrial committee, student research preview, SSCS advisory group, awards and recognition committee, publication and editorial committee, women in circuit committee, all the ISSC staff and student volunteers. Uh, you're going to see a lot of those uh, going in the sessions this week. And actually, all of those people uh, are making uh, the conference happen each year. And this year, again, with um, the, the virtual format, which was not planned at the beginning, but all these people made that happen in a very short amount of time. So I'm really grateful uh, to work with uh, that incredible team. I'd like to quickly show you here uh, what's going to be uh, the virtual format. So you're going to go in the website here. And first, you're going to be able to look at the program. So I recommend to look and click on the timetable first. So on the timetable, you're going to see first uh, all the different uh, opening of the conference. So uh, the tutorials already happened with the Women in Circuit and Student Research Preview on uh, Sunday. So I really appreciate the dedication to the committee to work uh, with young professional and diverse groups. On Monday and Tuesday, we're going to have the plenary speakers. And the opening of the third day is important because it's where we also show the highlighted industry papers in parallel to everyone demonstrating uh, their, their paper in the demo sessions. Then the rest of the week is made with the, all the regular sessions in parallel. They're going to be live Q&A. You're going to be able to talk to the authors, talk to the session chairs, uh, and make sure you understand everything from their paper. End of the week is more dedicated to forums and short course. And here again, you're going to get access to really high level of explanation of, on topics that are really new uh, to, uh, the, to, to the community. So uh, please attend those as well. I'd like to show you how is the website uh, uh, organized. So you can go and click on the different days in there. Uh, and then obviously you can scroll down and look at what is the most interesting for you in the conference. Based on this, you're going to be able to build your own itinerary. So let me just uh, click on that session here. First, you will look at the timing and the schedule is about the live Q&A. Once you get access to a paper here, you're going to quickly see that you can add that paper to your itinerary for the week. And then you can obviously just add that itinerary in an Excel file or uh, add that to your calendar. So please build your own, uh, your own conference here and that's going to appear in your calendar and then you're going to be able to attend all the interesting sessions for you. Then in terms of materials, what do, you, what do we have in there? So when you click here on a paper, you're going to see the title of the paper and all the authors of the paper, obviously. And then when you click on that paper, here is the available uh, material. So you're going to have the video of the paper. You're going to have the publication itself. And you're going to also have access to all the uh, slides for that paper. When you want to join the Q&A session, just click on the uh, Q&A there. So here is the paper for that specific uh, session. Here are all the slides that you're going to be able to see. And finally, you're going to be able to click on the video for that paper. All of this has been already made available to all of you. And then if you're interested, join the Q&A session and talk to them, talk to that author, for example, if you have some questions. In addition to that, here you can vote 
on, on the paper. So please, please do it because it's really important for the conference to know which papers are um, outstanding compared to others so that we can invite uh, all, the, um, all the papers to uh, some um, GSSC publications or also we are selecting papers for award. Very important if you cannot attend the live session, in that box here, you're going to be able to ask some questions to the authors all along the conference. So this entire week, the authors are going to look at the questions you're posting there. They're going to reply. Some of the questions are going to be replied live, but most of them, they're going to be addressed here in the chat, right? So do not hesitate. Go watch videos, ask questions there. Go attend the Q&A and ask questions again in person during the Q&A. Uh, thank you so much. I think we have here uh, all the content from the regular sessions and all the content for the forums. I'd like to remind to all of you that um, the ISSC website here uh, also has some networking capabilities. Uh, if you go there into the gathered town, uh, you're going to go into uh, a networking uh, website that we call gathered town. So right now you see my small avatars being here uh, relaxing on the beach. But if you go more into the details, then you're going to see that this is the ISSC space. That is where the demo posters uh, are going to be available during the demo session. Uh, you maybe already attended uh, some of the uh, SRP on, on Monday, on, on Sunday, sorry, and uh, some of those uh, happen here. There's going to be also some mentoring events in Gather Town. So please go uh, look around, meet some other people in the conference. You can still go into some different rooms there and then you're going to be able uh, to meet all together in small groups. So this is the website. Please navigate, look around. There is a lot of interesting material in there. The website is going to be open until the end of March. So uh, you have time to watch videos. I obviously recommend to watch the videos of the paper in advance to the live Q&A so that you can uh, ask all the questions you have uh, to the authors. The authors will also reply to all the questions during uh, in the asynchronous chat that I've shown before. A quick reminder that uh, we ask no recordings and no screenshots uh, during the live sessions. Um, so thank you so much for uh, joining ISSC this year. Uh, we understand that uh, some of you would have preferred to meet in person, but unfortunately, we have not been able to make another decision for the health of our attendees. I hope you will enjoy the conference. Thank you so much.